The Tunny machine is the last machine in the process of decrypting German high command messages. It actually the machine which finally deciphers the message and produces the plain text in German. I'm incredulous at the excellent brain power of the people who derive the design of the Tunny machine. M120. The code breaking would have been impossible without that machine. There's absolutely no doubt about that. They received the signal on some very, very sensitive radio receivers. There's a bit of fading, but the trace is good on the slip. The radio receivers, the output from those, would be fed into a pen recorder, which produces, if you like, a wavy line. The young girls would read this wobbly trace on this very slim piece of paper and they would then translate that wobbly trace into letters of the alphabet. They type that onto a perforating machine. Then it will be sent using a tape transmitter here to Bletchley Park, which produces the punch paper tape for Bletchley Park analysis. My job was to decode the messages that we'd intercepted from Germany and the cryptographers had broken down the signals and gave me a key so that I put it into the tunny machine and that whatever was in the tunny machine came out pure German onto my teleprinter where I was typing. So it was messages maybe from Hitler or to Hitler to high command. It was really obviously very important. We could only ever mention what we did here, even that we were here, until 30 years after the end of the war in Europe. I went on an interview for the Fabian Society soon after the war, and they said to me, what did you do in the war? And I said, I can't tell you. And in the end, it became like a dream, you know, did it really happen? And then suddenly you just saw things in books and magazines and in newspapers. You said, that was where I was, that was what I was doing. To rebuild equipment like this, you need access to the original circuit diagrams. The head designer, a gentleman named Sid Broadhurst, um, at the very end of the war, when they were dismantling all the equipment here, um, left a large envelope uh, on the windowsill of the toilets in the building. Uh, and um, it was discovered that inside this envelope were all his circuit notes, not, I hasten to add, the circuit diagrams themselves. And it just begs the question that had they not run out of toilet paper, we might actually have got the circuit diagrams as well. <laughs>